Hello, it's Denise here at Junk Journal Junkie UK. Um, back for another video with you. Hello, hope you're all well. Um, thanks for joining me, new and old viewers alike. So today I am going to do some using up of my uh, junk, really. So um, I've been following Tanya at Tatty Treasure on YouTube and Facebook doing a challenge in July for using up junk, junk at July. And she's continuing um, on a Monday, um, just using up her junk, posting a video every Monday. So I'm gonna try and uh, do, do one of these every week as well and try and get rid of some of my junk also. I have got quite a lot, but it is nearly all square pieces of board, flyers, um, nothing too exciting. Uh, but we'll see we'll see how we go okay so I've brought this along with me it's just a spare page um, I'm trying to think what it is a Victorian flower album I think it's called it's quite a well-known book uh, a lot of junk journals have it and use it so I thought it was quite a nice page to use up so it's using up your trash and leftovers I think something like that which is what I'm doing I've had this um, sorry I've had this a while in my uh, junk pile as it were and it's um i must have used the other half of the card for something it's from a file folder um, and i folded it in half for something and i was looking at it today this morning when i was getting all my junk out thinking it might make a nice flip up i mean the color's hideous obviously i need to completely cover it and ink it but you know down on a page it's got the little tab there to lift it up and then they could be journaling and something pretty in there. So I'm going to go with that one today. And um, I'm thinking maybe, maybe that will cover well, some of it. Anyway, I don't think it'll cover a lot of it. I have got, I'll show you that in a minute. So I get one of these at least, well, I get two a month, I think, with my instant ink, maybe more. Um, I use them for other things, gluing on and such like, but I do get a lot of them. So I thought I might use one of those. It's perfect size for a journaling card. So that'll be nice, easy kind of collage it up journaling card and I probably get one of these through the door every week as well crazy I know uh, the housing market's quite good at the moment in in England generally but um, you know why they want to waste all this card and money putting one through every single week I don't know but there you go I get some junk to play with this has been kicking around in my uh, use it up junk thing for a long long time so I think it's very thin but I do like the colour of it. I think I'm just going to cut it apart and use some of the um, the plain brown um, for covering and, and kind of get rid of the, the rest of it. You know, this, this bit, I mean, it might go in my, um, yeah, I suppose it could go in my uh, scraps box. And the same with this, just a big brown envelope. I'm just going to use it to uh, cut down, rather than make something with it, cut down and use the, the brown for collaging or backing etc. Um, I'm practically out of coffee dyed and tear dyed paper but I have got one or two sheets left and they have got something printed on the back but I just when I was dyeing paper months ago I used them you know just to mop up what was left and actually they're not a bad colour on the back so I'll use one of those up obviously it can only go on certain things because of the printing on the back and then I just brought along out of my stash backing page, one of my Shakespeare pages, and an odd page from a kit by, yeah, that's it, a uh, paper outpost, Pam at the paper outpost, letters and lace, I think, just in case I wanted something more. Okay, so plenty of backing, because uh, I knew it was all about cards. And then this, um, you've seen quite a few of these before, but they're just from mopping up, kicking around my my desk over time so there's three little tags there that I can cut up and use for collaging from the Artie Mays Victoria album kit that I've just done some little hang on a minute <laughs> so that's just one of an Artie Mays cluster that she photocopied and gave away free these two are from the kit at Nanine, um, Nanine at College Type one of the woodland kits that's just a bit of something kicking around. That came out of a book. I cut it out of a book. It was quite interesting, an old advert. That's from G. Kerr, one of her freebies. 
That's from Nanine's Woodland Kit. I think that might be from the Graphics Fairy, I don't know. Cut that out of the book. So these, you've seen these, a lot of them kicking around a while. But I'm going to try and use a lot of them up in one go is what I thought. Um, yeah, I know that's from, but I can't bring their name to mind. So yeah, some pictures out of a book. I want to say these are shabby dabby doodars. I think they probably are. A baby fairy sleeping in there. Yep, so just some things. Beautiful. Um, no, can't think where that's come from, but I've, it, I've only had that fairly recently. So I was thinking we'll make this into a flip up. We'll make the little HP card, if I've got time to do everything, into a journal card. And I thought, I'm going to start with this one actually, I thought I'd use a lot of these because I've got a lot of square pieces and just cover this and see what I would come up with. So it might just end up being like um, a master board or it might be a nice big journal card, I don't know. I'm just thinking of grabbing a few and laying them on it and sticking them on it. So let's have a look what we think. A lot of these little square pieces. I mean, that's a nice. The sun's come out and put a beautiful shadow, wasn't it, right across my. Whoops. Well, I'm not going to use that many of them up by the looks of it, unless I layer. What have we got? That's lovely. Maybe we can use that on something else. Not that the things on here aren't lovely, but. So I hope you're all well. I'm filming this on a Saturday morning. It won't be Saturday when you see it. Um, and I'm going away tonight, quite late tonight actually, to the caravan. So, um, it won't be nice that way. So just um, a quick video before I start getting ready to go again. You will still be getting videos. I've done a few in advance this time and I will still be doing the, although you might see this after it, I will still be doing the, the draw on Tuesday for the 200 subby giveaway. So I won't say go over and have a look because <laughs> it's probably finished now. Mm -hmm. The problem is I'm hiding, putting stuff down and hiding other good stuff, but... I have to take my time and have a look at it, because once or twice when I've watched my videos back, I've put things down and taken them away again, and when I've been watching the video I thought, oh I like that, <laughs> put that back, it's nice, and it's too late. <laughs> Obviously I need to cover it all. But something like that. Right, let me just step back and have a look at it and see what I think because it's very eclectic. Let's see if I can swap out some stuff that's not quite so. Maybe that one for that. Maybe that was making it a bit full on that. Um, well, I remember where it all goes anyway. Or do I want something bigger that's... No, I don't think so. I think I'm going to put that down and see. I haven't really lost anything ever if I don't like it and I can't... I can't see why I wouldn't like it um, stitched round and... I wonder what made me go that way on it as well. I suppose I could cut it in half with it being that way, couldn't I? Yeah. Okay, we'll leave it that way. Right, I am going to give this little... Oh, and I can get the lid off it. It's a new one, but it's the one that I got originally. Elmer's Craft Bond Extra Strength Glue Stick. Permanent bond, it says. And if you remember, I used it before and it was definitely not permanent. So, but I need to use it up, so I'm going to give it a go. And let me just get a glue page at the side of me. Um, I'm going to really, really leather it on. 
and then because I'm not waiting for this particular piece of uh, ephemera artwork I can leave it to one side and you know see see what happens with it time wise as regards sticking right so which pieces am I going on the bottom those two I had to probably have something under there didn't I I'll put that piece of Shakespeare paper under it because I will continue to use that afterwards even if it gets a bit of glue on oh I've lost everything that was on it now that 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 <laughs> I bet it doesn't go back the same way I had it and I think I am going to ink the edges because they're air white I might just do it with what's on the dobber there are white bits showing so I guess it's it is collaging isn't it it's kind of collaging with square and oblong pieces rather than I mean I could have put the circular clock or something on it yeah I hope that sunshine's not because it's half on and half off I hope it's not distracting for you to see I hope it's not sh um, stopping you see seeing clearly right I'm really leathering this on so it shouldn't last too long this because it's only a, a tiny tiny glue stick and we are doing paper on paper mm. whoops excuse my finger noise um cloth still here beside me in the box I'm so impressed with myself I can't believe it I know one day I won't have one and I'll be disappointed in myself. No, don't think negative. Okay, shall I bray it as well? Of course I've put my hand on the gluey page. It certainly sticks to your body. <laughs> but it doesn't stick paper to paper. It sticks skin to paper. Although I'm sure I brayed the, um, the last piece that I used this on. I think I got both together if I remember rightly but we'll see now this one is a little bit shiny I might not trust it on this one I might have to go with what do we think uh, glitter or Fabri-Tac um, I'm gonna go with some art glitter I wonder if the two mix at all I'm wondering if I could I won't do it this time but I put glue stick down on the bottom and then be really mean with the art glitter glue. Now, I was saying last time I talked to you about this that I was getting wrinkles and somebody's video yesterday, and I watched loads, so I'm really sorry I can't say who. It might have been Miss Paint a lot, but then again it might not. Uh, Fiona. Um, that it only wrinkles if you put too much on. No, it could have been anybody, it could have been D actually. Uh, Walcott, I think her last name is. D's crafty place anyway. Yeah, might have been her. Anyway, somebody did, so I'll try to be a bit more mean with it, which I guess I should anyway, because it's not cheap. What did we have down there? That? That down there, that on there. That one's underneath because it's got that. And this has been backed a little bit so it's a bit thicker than the rest but it's a nice brown paper so it should stick if I really glue it so I'm gluing off camera I know but I'm really 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 oh crikey you could write your name in it I'm putting that much on it certainly slides around when I put it down having that much glue on So I think what I will do, I didn't ink that one, did I? What I'll do is I'll put it under my mat out the way when I've made it. While we do the other, well I'll do the flip down because that might take a while. Because then it's out of my sight and then when I bring it back again, I'll know if I love it, hate it, etc. So we were going, were we going on there with that one? No, we were going up there with that one. Quite like that over there though. Can I make it fit still? What else did I have? 
this, didn't I? Did I have it that way? Yep. So I think this one and then this one. I might even be getting it back where I start, had it initially. That will be impressive. Right, let's get rid of this gluey paper into my bin. So I am staying fairly tidy still, I have to say. Which one was I put in there? That one. And um, my boxes of, well, just clear it off the desk and call it clearing it away. <laughs> it's a long title for a box, isn't it? My boxes of that kind of stuff are definitely dwindling. I keep going through a little bit every day. It's really too boring for you guys to watch. Um, but I'm discovering things that I have, haven't had for a long time and I am using things up that um, I've been in the wrong place and now I've found them again. Got a bit of green showing there. It'll be trimmed anyway. Um, so I'd like to say that actually that one wasn't it. I'm getting a bit more breathing space, but I'm not <laughs> because I keep getting new things. I cannot at the minute. I'm just addicted to the books at the um, charity shop. I've always loved books. I am a um, English teacher. I was an English teacher. I got a liter English literature degree. So I've always loved books and writing and stories and things like that. But I've kind of rediscovered a love for them. Just really looking through for things for junk journaling. So I am buying lots of books for, you know, that I think, oh, that'd be lovely for junk journaling. But I'm also buying lots of books that are like, that, that is way too nice to cut up but I must have it because it's beautiful. So I'm getting a bit of a, a book junkie. I kind of need a library and I live in a small one bedroomed bungalow. So the chances of that ever happening while we live here <laughs> are, shall we say, fair to none. So I just need to organize, organize myself a little bit better, I think. I need to rethink my uh, book storage um, it's probably, I know, I, I look at other people's craft rooms when they show them and they look ace and I look at them and think how fabulous. But I think, and I'd love one, don't get me wrong, but I think if I had one I would have to learn a whole new discipline of, you know, what I bought and kept and why, because the more space I have, the more I will fill with gorgeousness. Just trim a little bit of white off the bottom of that. Now I think this kind of, with it being plainish and covers all those joints in the middle to some degree, just kind of brings it all together. It's a real tiny daily agenda, it's like a diary page. So if I kind of get it over all of those intersecting corners and there's four or five of them. Yeah, I like it. I don't know what it's going to be. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but does that matter? I'm sure it will be the perfect thing at some point, um, but I thoroughly enjoyed doing it. I've certainly enjoyed sticking all the bits down that have been loose. What, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces on there. That are Seven pieces that I like, they're not pieces that I haven't used because I don't like them. But are now going to be on view. Did I not ink that? Could it not ink it? Okay. Was I pulling it down too close to me so you couldn't see? I hope not. Yep, yeah, I'm thinking that looks nice, so I'm going to just cover it up with a piece of, I hope it doesn't stick to that, and put it under my mat to get squashed a bit. Yeah, I didn't get any glue on that page at all. Excellent. Okay, so we've got these two pieces left and still all these. See, seven pieces didn't make a huge dent, did it? Um, I'm thinking we'll do this one because this can be... Oh, excuse me. Oh, a hair in my mouth and it was still attached to my head. I don't know how that happened. Um, 
it's going to be a really quicker this isn't it cover the back and collage the front or should I collage the front first yeah I'll collage the front first then cover the back so I'll have my bit of, have my bit of paper backing because I like looking at that around that nasty gluey board um right are we going to use some of these bits up again do you think we can do it really quickly with just a a couple of oh that's too nice at the minute that's the problem things are too nice and i don't want to put them down until it's like oh, that's lovely it must go there um let's just put some scrappy bits out of the scrap box behind you can probably tell i had stuff stood on it okay i'm thinking it's time uh, my scrap box was probably separated into actual scraps of paper and card and backing because I've got well, I've still got them all kind of stuck together but uh, what we've got here so look, let's not dig any deeper because they're not attached to it they're little bits of flower fairy backing papers from that CD-ROM yeah so I probably ought to have two boxes what I need to do is find a box though so I can have all the pretty papers in one and um, I think I'm cheating a bit much. Shall we tear that in half? Let's tear in half. I might give it a little bit of. I'll put the top half in kit. If I put, if I put some back in across that, some of that across there, do we think? Let's play. I like play. Right, what was I saying? Oh, goodness, I've completely forgotten. Um, Nope, it's gone. Never mind, it was probably nothing earth shattering. Why did I make that straight at the. <laughs> have a little play, Denise. Have a little cut and a snip and a mess about. I was just thinking, put that little bit on there. Did that go far enough over? Yep. Cool. So I'm going to the caravan tomorrow, I've already said that too, haven't I? And on Sunday there is um, an antiques fair where I'm going. So I should be having a little look there. I was talking about clearing out and making space. I mean, sometimes I go and buy absolutely nothing. Rare, but it does happen. But other times it's just, there's so much stuff that I can't resist. And because it's a, a fairly smallish one, because it's a small, smallish town, even though it's summer and the, the holiday makers are in. Um, yeah, it, it doesn't get that packed. The antiques fair, so you sometimes get some bargains. Don't quite meet in the middle there. Look, and if I'd have cut it a bit longer, it would have. Silly girl. Um, um, um. I probably want to strip down there, don't I? Oh, it's a nice colour on the back. Look, let's put that. Let's tear it the other way and get rid of the white. That's it. Watch me make it short again now. I don't know which side I want where. Am I making you dizzy? <laughs> oh, okay, it's sticky. The glue page is sticking to me, that's it. Let's have a little tiny piece of that in that corner there little doily bit so that there and that there okay got it that was a lot of faffing about wasn't it sorry guys i quite like faffing about <laughs> um i'm just looking for another glue page hang on 
because I'm using so much of that glue. I'm probably only getting one thing glued on it before I have to turn it over. Sorry about that noise, that was quite close to my microphone. Sorry again. Where's it gone? <laughs> there, right, are we inking? Yes, we are. Well, I seem to have done a lot of collage in these last few days, which I love. It's just my favourite thing to do. So I don't think you'll see all the videos together, hopefully, so you won't just see video after video of collage, but it's a big part of what I'm doing at the minute. And until this week, I don't seem to have done very much of it, so... Perhaps because I've done so much previously and I've been using them up. That and the Flower Fairy. Uh, not Flower Fairy. I've got Flower Fairies on the brain. The um, Edith Holden and Queen Victoria projects. I'll go across to there, yeah. Which means I've been using, you know, lots of uh, digitals, kit pages, and pages from books, so not so much. Not so much collagey. Oops. And of course you've probably seen me use up my previous collage boards that I put away and rediscovered. Oh, I have got sticky this time. Sorry, I need it near me eyes so I can see the, the edge of what I'm doing. Well, that glue has got me stuck up. I better fold that over now. It's very sticky. So if it doesn't stick the paper, I can't understand why. Got a lot of piece there that's not. Yeah, and it's got glue behind it. What's wrong with you? It's a mystery to me. Right, I'm going to cut that. Just bear with me a minute. Oh, I've got some old scissors on here that I don't really use for anything much. I don't want to glue up my scissors too much, but that is driving me mad because it was very sticky. So while we've got them out, let's take these as a little bit off. Right, I'm getting untidy again. I've started now, on not Right. Oh, I have to say the sunshine is beautiful, but it's probably playing havoc with the, uh, what you can see. I can only apologise if it is. That's it, let's tidy ourselves up a bit. Okay, this tiddly little bit down. stuck up with it. Just wondering what I've done with my wet wipes. I've got my dry wipes. They're not going to do me much good. That definitely needs inking. So it might be nice. It's nice when you cut images in half like that and you put something plain behind them. Book um, text or uh, even music I suppose. A tea dyed paper. don't know Sorry if I rattled you then. Don't know that I've done it before with um, colourful paper behind it. Yeah, I quite like it though. It's something a little bit different. So what shall we put on the back of this one? I need to use up one of the pieces of brown paper that I've brought from the junk. So envelope or bag, what are we thinking? The bag's very thin and it is quite thick card this, so that might be a, a good place to use it up. Go out like that. Let's just give the edges a... I know they need trimming so this is going to be need doing again but I don't want to trim them until they're dry just gives us a better idea of what it will look like. 
yep we'll just back that and it's quite a nice journal card right I'm just opening the envelope and the bag up and I'll see what we've got so I'll just cut down the edge because sorry that was probably right up close to the camera Oops, that cut something off, didn't it? Sorry, it won't open up. That's it, that's just gives me a better idea of. Ooh. We don't really want that piece on there, do we? <laughs> oh, lovely. Put that in the scrap box though. Thrown enough away for one day. I was going to make this as well, wasn't I? Because um, there's not so much on there. Maybe that piece. I'm going to cut it in half and see what the inside of it looks like as well. So it's been recycled once, according to Tesco's. It's about to be recycled again. Oh, oh, oh crikey. Now what am I going to do? Rip it. You'll notice I've done the bit that's got the recycle bit on first, so. Mm, I don't know. I don't know that that's going to be any use for it. Oh, hang, just hang on and see and decide when I'm clearing up. And again, that's nice for little bits of uh, what? What word am I searching for that I can't come up with? Uh, not collage, but you know, when you need little bits of paper behind things, little scrappy bits. I don't even know if there's a word for what I'm searching for. That's it. It's got a, a silkier side and a. It's not really. Yeah, I like that silkier side for writing on, to be honest. Yeah, I'll just stick it down on there, glue it, stick it down on there. Put that on there. Put that over there. And again, I'm just gluing off, off camera on these. I know there's quite a few swear words in this uh, book that I'm gluing on. So it's good for gluing on, but it's not good for showing. And I've scanned it to see, but if one escapes, I'd be most upset. I don't want to offend anybody. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely nice and thick. So this will be more than enough back in for it. enjoying my brayer. It definitely does push a lot of the air uh, bubbles out that normally I may not have got with just a cloth. Yeah, nice smooth finish. Oops, I'm sorry if I knocked you then. I'll just cut the excess off because that's going under my um, Gluey. No, that's going under my mat as well. I've said before they don't dry under there, so I have to get them out to actually dry properly. But they do uh, flatten out a little bit. All right, glue page. So that's left us with this. I don't know how long we've got. Um, probably not long. So where is that page? That big page. What was I thinking? If it's a flip up, that would be the front. I could do with a piece of this on the front. Yeah, so I could put the whole thing on there. That's at the bottom. Yep, I quite like the edge actually. 
Maybe I should do it. Hmm. No, I'll do it there. So I'll just cover this card in glue. While you have a little look at that uh, Victorian flower album writing. Yeah, I'm nearly down this glue stick, so if it doesn't stick now with all that glue on it, I was definitely wasted my money. Oh, thing is, everything's going a bit because it's bent. Oh no, further over. Everything's going a bit bendy. No, I've got a blob of glue on it now, on my brayer. Every time I'm thin filming, I think, right, I need some alcohol wipes when I've finished filming. I must go online and look for some. And do I? Do I even think about it? Until next I'm filming. I wonder. See, ideally that could do with time to... Uh, dry before I cut it off. It's just cut close to but not quite round it. See if there's something else I can be doing while it dries. Some nice little off cuts there. So that's gonna oh no you knew I did that didn't you? Did you watch me do that? So that is upside down if that's gonna be the front. Ooh Denise going to be a no it can't be flipped down either mm. oh it can it can be flipped down on that side I guess it's going to be a flip down I don't know I'm trying to rush too much now instead of thinking about what I'm doing just so that I know what what did I say flip down on that side yet because that is I like that with a flower or something on the front of there that's going to be pretty. Okay, so if we're flipping down, which bit's going to be the writing on bit? Probably that one. And then something pretty on here. So what we're going to put on there to write on? Because it's going to need completely covering, isn't it? Let's have a peek at this. Oh, oh I see you're a seam. Is that going to fit? I think it might. Low seams off. So if it if it wants such a bright colour, I wouldn't mind the edges showing, but it is very bright. Yeah, if I glue it like that, it will fit. stuck on there. So I need to glue this piece. So you can put these under, you won't be able to see them will you? There we go. I know I'm not very far in um, but at least you'll be able to see me doing something. And just how much glue I'm putting on. I won't get too close to that edge, but I can always put some art glitter glue under there if it's coming away at the edge. I can forgive it if it comes away at the edge. It's when the whole thing peels off. I mean, how much glue do we need? I've also got all the purple ones still to use up, so I'm, I'm going to do the same with them. I did do something this morning, actually, not on, not on film with the, the purple glue stick and I did the same as this. I absolutely lathered it everywhere. That's not straight. No. Off, 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 off. I'm not gonna have too many goes at this, so I should have cut that edge a bit straighter, shouldn't I? 
see what we do this time. Is that any closer? I think I might just have done it. don't think I'm going to get it off again anyway. I mean, I can always trim this edge down on the trimmer because it's it's not the edge with the tab on it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That's loud. And it is going to be in, so let's see how close oh, I think we've done. Now we've got it. I realise it might need a bit of art glitter in there. Um, so again, I'm cutting it close, but just leaving it to stick a few minutes. just cover the whole thing do you? I'm not thinking straight. Let's see the bits of pieces I've brought. So it's going to have pretties on it this side. Why don't we use some of this? I need to cut around that tab so that when this is on something on the other side I can see the shape of the tab again to cut round it which I might slightly alter sorry if that's too near but oops yeah it is lovely and thick that Victorian album paper that I've put on oops I think I might be cutting into the entire thing there I am <laughs> Oh, once I start. Right. We can't have that. I don't know what made me think I could cut straight in midair like that. I just felt like I'd started and I couldn't stop. Perhaps I should have done the bottom at the same time. No, because I need to cover it. Cover this one then I can do the bottom. Right. Perhaps while that was out I should have cut the white off this. I should think this might be going to be quite a long video guys. But it will be. A good job done. Let's just cut it down a bit and I can get that white off it. Um, yeah, there'll be something that's been kicking around for ages and ages. Actually used up and useful. Right, so I must remember Holding it down this way, so I want it that way up. I want to put it in the middle. Oops, did I leave that on show? Could you see any of it? Where are we? There. I'm nearly at the end of it. So what have I made with it? Three things, nearly. And it's hoping they stick. So that'll be something else anyway. In the bin and out my way, another glue stick that's empty. Yeah, I'm empty. I'm using the scraping the bottom now. But there is lots on it. Oh. It is beautiful that that's going to save the whole project just with a beautiful piece of paper on it. There you are, a bit of left handed lot, it's practically empty. A bit of left handed roller in, roller in, brayer in. I did say, I think I said last couple of videos ago, braying, which is what a donkey does, isn't it? Donkeys bray. I think the correct terminology is braying. I do make myself laugh when I listen back to my, what I've said on my videos. We are the right way up, aren't we? We are. So I think once all that yellow's covered over, it'll look like a, a different animal entirely. That's a very interesting shape tab. 
I don't think it started out that shape. I might have to go around it with my um, yeah, with my corner rounder once it's dry, and make both of them look the same. But I'll let it dry. Excuse me. Getting ready for breakfast. So yeah. Sort that peaking yellow out now. And like I say, that might need some art glitter in it when it's dry, but I'll give it a chance to dry before I pick at it. But this will get rid of that yellow that we don't want to see. And then when it dries, I'll go around it all. Yeah, that's got rid of it. Oh, itchy thumb. Okay, so it's a bit too pristine that, isn't it? That back. Trim around it a bit. Just something on the back then, a bit of decoration. I think I'll do that bottom bit on the trimmer when we're done. So I'll do front and back. Yeah. So I mean that could go down on well it probably if it's a flip down it is going to go down on the page of that isn't it? Yes it is. So that's one hideous yellow bit we don't have to cover. Okay, so we should nearly be done now then. I think they probably need making the same size, don't they? Oops. Oh sorry about that, but it was it was quite thick layers. going to need some oh, art glitter around the edges. I'd quite like to round those but I think I might have to glue them first and then so let's just decide on some decoration and then the edges will be yeah rounded and inked once it's dry. Um, said botanical didn't I? <laughs> Sorry about that. It was the big reach round the tripod. So this is my floral. What did I say I wanted in there? Something from here so we've used some more up. I've got little bits of paper here that are out the scrap box. more of a grungy kind of a so not that not that not that not the lady uh, really for oh that's a nice piece look that might end up on the front I don't dislike those with the uh, Oh, that's perfect for writing underneath. I don't know. So it just needs something small, doesn't it? Need some German space. That's quite nice, isn't it? Isn't they a word, I believe? Um, no. True. Let's think that up and see what it looks like. So this is from Nanine, Nanine's kit, I think I already said. I wonder if we can put some of that wrinkly, crinkly paper under it. Let's see what it looks like. Oops.
off it a little bit. From there. The next question is going to be what will make it stick. Might even have a little bit of this lace cut off as well from the other page under. Like a little cluster. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so let's go with our glitter. And oh that. Just on that on there. Probably just rub off this, but we'll see. It's going all over it. Like this first. I hope this weather's going to pick up a little bit for me on the uh, for this, my trip to the coast. And it's sunny, so it's always beautiful in the caravan. Even if well, even if it's raining, I like it in the caravan. Love the noise of it on the ceiling. Love. I think I've said before we can actually see the sea out of the window, so uh, it's quite nice to. Oh, I didn't think about whether I should be using that on there. I think it dries clear. Yeah. So I love to look out at the sea if it's raining or stormy or windy. Um, but obviously it hits grass everywhere so it gets a bit boggy outside. Yes, right, it'll be interesting to see I'll cover most of that wrinkly paper up because it looks very wrinkly at the minute. Got a bit of a point there as well but so I think obviously I haven't trimmed the edges yet but I'll just give you an idea when it's inked and the corners are rounded obviously I'll show you at the end yeah, looks better so we're going with this on here because I really like it it's not as vintage looking as this but I just which way does that butterfly go that way I think yeah that's the stalk of the of the plant so it must go that way and it's quite a big piece isn't it it's not going to fit on lots of things so I am going to use it in the spirit of using up this will bring it down vintagey a bit grungy up a bit just a little yeah that's better it's not yeah it's definitely that way up that's the stalk okay and I'm going to add glitter glue it so you will see a picture of it at the end with uh, I'll wait until it dries and around those corners trim it and put a picture on because we're definitely I'm sure we've done an hour now we must have done I'll be surprised if we haven't oh, oh, oh. put it over to this side I'll just grab the other two pieces out and have a quick look. Now one of them still needs backing, doesn't it? But I can do that. And then um, again, put the picture on at the end. Sorry if I banged then. Just put in the pin in my glue, or attempting to. Okay, just bear with me while I drag these out. So I've still got a little pile of things for next time. Yeah, that's the one that's going to be. Oh, it did stick. Yeah. That's definitely vintagey now. That's the one that needs backing. And this one we did back, what needs cutting round. Just cut the bottom off. Probably needs stitching round that one. Yep. Yeah. And that. I think that might need a little bit of something in that bottom corner as well. Okay, so um, like I say, there'll be a picture on in the end in a moment just for you to see them finished. Thanks ever so much for staying with me through that. It's been a really long video. And um, come back and visit me next time. See you soon. Have a lovely, lovely day. Bye-bye.